Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the iPad is perfect, uh, almost, but I do encounter these small issues from time to time. So here are tips that will help you get rid of them and you can get the most out of your magic tablet. Number one, airdrop not working. This happens more often than I care to admit. Airdrop just stops working. So when I'm trying to share pictures of files with my family or friends, sometimes AirDrop just hangs without any progress. Now, you can try turning Bluetooth on and off and even put airplane mode and back on normal. It sometimes works, but not always. So the only guaranteed fix is to restart your iPad. You can do a normal restart, but I always do a forced restart and that 100% fixes the issue every time. So to force restart, you press the volume up button first and then volume down button and without much delay, press and hold the power button. Now here you can slide to do a normal shutdown, but if you keep holding it, that'll force shut your iPad off and then it turns it back on again. And then try airdrop again and it works. Number two, stop iCloud upload. See, if you're subscribed to iCloud, then unless you are running on low battery levels, your pictures and videos get synced to the iCloud automatically. Now, there are times where I don't want to do this. So the best way to pause the iCloud upload is to record a random video clip, maybe even in 4K for about 30 seconds. So it's not a small file and then stop recording. Immediately go to the Photos app and you should see the iCloud progress bar. Hit pause and you get the option to pause this until midnight. You can hit resume when you're good to go. Number three is file transfer. Now, if you want to transfer files from your PC or Mac and don't want to use AirDrop as you have too many files or even movie video files to transfer, then there is a way. Now, ideally, Apple should show files app in the iTunes list of apps listed under file transfer, but for some reason, it does not do that. Now, one way which I found is very convenient is to download the Google Chrome app and that creates a downloads folder on your iPad. Then connect your iPad to iTunes, go to file transfer, find Chrome and in there you just scroll down and click on add files and this happily transfers files onto the Chrome downloads folder in your files app. So once you're done, you can happily go back to files app, find that downloads folder and your files are all in there. Number four is playing unknown file types. Say you have ripped a DVD into an AVI file and then transferred it onto your iPad. Now natively iPads cannot play AVI files, but you can use an app like VLC player. It's free to download and there is a way to open your AVI file onto it by going into the files app, long pressing it and then choose share. From the apps list, find VLC player and just like that, it opens the file. Number five, Wi-Fi not connecting. Now the best solution is to turn your Wi-Fi router off and back on again and it works or even change the Wi-Fi signal band. You can also try putting your iPad on airplane mode and back on normal and try to connect. Or the one fix which kind of works most of the time is to actually go to the Wi-Fi and choose to forget and then try to connect it again by entering the password. This usually works most of the time. Number six, AirPods not connecting. Now, especially if you've been switching your AirPods between your iPhone and iPad, sometimes it keeps looping and it just doesn't connect. Not to worry, in that case, just go to Bluetooth section in the settings and find the AirPods and tap on it. And this connects them back to the iPad. Now, if you're watching a movie on your iPad and your AirPods are connected to it and you open your iPhone and it automatically switches to the iPhone, you can actually move this back to your iPad as you get the option on top where you just tap it and it will just stick to your main device. Number seven, external USB hard drive not working. Now, one of the main reasons why I found this happens is because the external hard drive requires more power. In such case, you'll need to use a dock which allows pass-through charging. So I here have the Lenshin standing dock, which allows pass through charging onto the iPad. And this gives enough juice to make the external hard drive work with the iPad. Number eight, Apple Pencil doesn't work, especially when you're sharing it with two iPads. Now, the best way which I found is to detach the Apple Pencil, put your iPad to sleep by pressing the power button and then wake it up again and go to the home screen. Then try connecting the Apple Pencil again, but 
This time, wait for the Apple Pencil connection message to disappear and then it should show the battery charging icon and then your Apple Pencil should start working. And finally, number nine, apps not working. So sometimes apps do not work and the main thing you need to do is to check that you're using the most up-to-date version of the app. Go to the App Store, search for that app in question and see if there is an update button instead of open button. If there is one, hit the update button and update it to the latest version of the app. Now, if you're already on the latest version, then try closing it from multitasking. You need to swipe up to get to multitasking view and then swipe up again to close it off and then try to open it and see if it works properly. Now, even if that doesn't work, then unfortunately, the only way is to delete the app and reinstall it. Now, this one is especially for LumaFusion. Sometimes I do find LumaFusion just stuck and it doesn't respond, it doesn't play. Even though I've got an up-to-date app, sometimes it does just hang. Now, one of the easier solutions without having to close and you know shut down the app while multitasking, what I found is you just go into an edit view of a clip. So if you just imported a clip and it stops working, then what I found is just select that clip, double tap to go into the edit mode or just you know click on this icon and then you're in the edit mode and then come back and it all starts working again. And finally, I want to give you a few battery saving tips on the iPad as well. So first one is try to use the Apple's included power adapter or one from reputed brands like what I have here. This is the Anchor Nano Pro 20 watts USB-C fast charger and Anchor's cable. Now, if you feel that the iPad is draining battery quickly, first thing is to make sure that you've got the latest software version. To check this, go to settings, then general, and then software update. Next tip is to click on the settings and then battery and see battery usage by app. If anything in there feels suspicious, then you'll have to deal with it. For example, this recently happened on my wife's iPad Air. The default mail app was always showing activity in here, even though it was not set up and she doesn't use it at all. So I had to first turn off the background app refresh for that, which didn't fix it. So I had to delete it and reinstall it and it worked. Talking about background app refresh, go into the background app refresh settings section and turn it off for apps which you feel don't need it. That way, you can be sure that the ones which don't need this are turned off and are not taking up any battery. So those are my tips, guys. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.